In this last section of the naming chapter, we want to look at the, how we name acids, because naming acids is a little bit different than how we name ionic compounds, metal with nonmetal, or covalently bonded compounds, compounds that contain two nonmetals. Acids are generally going to be any compound that starts with a hydrogen. So what you're going to look for is a hydrogen is the first element in the compound. There are two major exceptions to this. One, acetic acid, the acetate ion, CH3COO, with a hydrogen on the end, and water. Water um, starts with a hydrogen, but we will not use the acid naming rules for water. Two types of acids that we're going to name. One, the binary acids. The binary acids are hydrogen with an element, and the element being our anion, our negatively charged ion. Whenever you have hydrogen bonded to an element, you'll put the prefix hydro, the root of the anion. So if it were chlorine, you put chloro, the suffix IC, and then the word acid. So for example here, if we had H, Cl, we recognize it hydrogen first, so we'd write hydro, chlorine, so chlor, IC is the ending, acid, HC is known as hydro, HCl is known as hydrochloric acid. The other type of naming of acids that we do is when we have the hydrogen bonded to a polyatomic ion. There's two basic rules that you're going to follow here, depending on the ending of the polyatomic ion. If the polyatomic ion ends in ATE, we'll change it to IC. If the polyatomic ends in ITE, we'll change it to OUS. We'll still use the word acid as the second word, but we will not use the hydro prefix. So let's look at some examples of these. Nitric acid, IC, so we're dealing with the nitrate polyatomic ion. Nitrate is minus one, hydrogen's plus one, so HNO3. Acetic acid. This is one where we write CH3CO minus is the ion, and the H actually goes on the end. That's an exception. Hydrobromic acid. So we know hydro, so we know it's an element. So HBr, hydrogen's plus one in all of these. Phosphoric acid, that means we're dealing with the phosphate polyatomic ion, so it would be H3PO4. Nitrous acid, OUS ending tells us that it's nitrite, so HNO2. And you can see the difference here, nitric, HNO3, nitrous, HNO2. Carbonic means we have carbonate. Carbonate CO3 2 minus, so it'd be H2 CO3. And sulfuric, meaning we have the sulfate, H2 SO4. Now let's go the other direction. HI, binary acid, two elements, so we'll do hydro, iodic acid. HC2 H3O2. Acetate, ATE becomes IC, acetic acid, HF, hydrofluoric acid, H2CO3, carbonate, so carbonic, since ATE becomes IC, acid. NO3, nitrate, so nitric acid. HBr, hydrobromic acid. And HClO3, chlorate, so now we'll do chloric acid. See, chloric versus hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid would be HCl. But when you have the chlorate, we don't use the hydro prefix, we just call it chloric acid. Now, as I've said in class, the key to all of this naming is lots of practice. So take the time to do lots of practice with each of these naming rules. And I think that each of you can easily master this concept and move forward with a lot of success throughout the rest of the year.